Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this time, we are getting it all in 890B. This was developed by Nerd Games, published by East Asia Soft, and is available for a deliciously tiny £4.19. So we play as Noah, a scientist who is tasked with locating a new planet, as all the protesters protesting against climate change have taken over, and they're gonna eat away through everything. Uh, dun, dun, dun. No, just kidding, of course. But severe pollution has rendered Earth pretty useless, so the Greta Thunbergs of the world can smile that we fudged up the Earth as we have to escape it. So it's a hollow victory of sort, you know? Um, anyway, achievements for this are simple. Everything about this game is simple. Even Simple Simon tells you it's an easy 1K simple slash platinum simple. All we need to do is follow cubes and do a few mini games. Honestly, you will have a harder time taking a shower. Still, it's a decent minimalistic kind of game which should take around 30 to 40 minutes to complete. So, with that being said then, let us begin. So, how else do we start games? By pressing the new game or start button, of course. So, for the majority, uh, we can just bash through the dialogue by pressing the A slash cross button. Uh, so as we begin, we are going to look at Luna, a scientist friend. So, walk into the cube, we're already going to get one achievement. Smash through the dialogue and then walk up. And grab this cube as well. And if we head into the next room, we're going to grab another cube and get ourselves two achievements in less than 30 seconds. So, you know, a decent start achievements-wise anyway. So, cube on the left there. And this is kind of what the game is like. We just grab a bunch of cubes... Um, do some talking, go up and down the steps quite a few times. Row, row, row. Spin around if you want to as well, because uh, we've got that style. We are looking crisp, to be honest, in this nice white shirt. Me, I'm a chungus with a tracksuit on, which is not good. Anyway, yeah, as we're heading up the stairs, we're going to grab this cube, and then another cube. And if we go down, do a couple of spins as well, because I'm ballerina fantastic. Grab another couple of cubes in this room. And then what we're going to do is somehow ignore that big blood black stained ink. I thought it was going to be more of a sort of horror-ish game, but uh, evidently it was not. So heading to the right, going through the next door, we are going to grab yet another cube. There we go. Awesome. And uh, we've got uh, our third achievement already, so grab the next cube. This is kind of like one of those games that, y you know, you buy a shocks where they go, oh, the story's amazing, but you've got about a million collectibles c to collect. And you've got to go up and down and all around. Yeah, kind of one of those types of games, really. So we're just going to head back down. Again, the map is very small. We don't go many places. We don't do many things, in all fairness. Head all the way down, and we're going to speak to Lunarcity again. Sorry to interrupt, but... Hey, we're the only two on this space station. Do you want to make out? No? Well, okay. Racist! I'm uh, just joking. Um, <laughs> we are going to go back upstairs. So, we've already seen Luna's laptop. Um, we could have grabbed it earlier, but, you know, evidently we're heading up and going to the right. And there's going to be another cube where we can grab said laptop. I'll tell you what, from this angle, we kind of look like a an absolute dashing Paul Pogba. Except, Noah here is probably a better player, so because he, he doesn't show off as much. But, uh, anyway, we'll leave that to... Uh, the Man United fans like me who... Anyway, another video. We're heading down, we're going to give Luna the laptop, and then what we're basically going to do, we can actually start running now by pressing the RB button. Um, and we'll be on a bit of a timer, but it'll be, again, simple. You know, you're going to take simpler pisses, to be honest. So heading to the next room, there's going to be four cubes in this room. One here, one here. If you go up, and then, as you can see, one to our right. And then we're just going to head upstairs. Again, just keep smashing through the dialogue. But you, again, you've got plenty of time anyway, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. When we go here, turn to the right again. We're going to be grabbing another Bioshock Cubus Pubus. And there it is. And we're going to head all the way to the left. Past the stairs. He runs like he's crapped his pants, mind, doesn't he, Noah? And grab this cube. And then what we can do is just head straight back down to Luna. So go all the way back down to where Luna is. And that ends this section. <laughs> So 
So here's the first kind of mini game, if you want to call it that. We've just got to input a bunch of things. So if you press up on the left stick, it'll come up with the command. And the first thing we need to do is um, input help. H-E-L-P, press the start button, and then press help on here. There we go, and that will input the command. So this is what we have to basically type in right there. So the first one... So you've got the init power check, flash power, etc, etc. So the first one then is init power check. So I-N-I-T, P-O-W-E-R, C-H-E-C-K, eventually when we get there. So, you know, you can probably spell, you probably know how to spell. I know you're not dumb, honestly. <laughs> but uh, just, you know, just in case it's probably easier if you don't want to look at the screen. So, the next one then, there's the init power check, so you've got to input that command. And so next up is going to be flush power. So that's F-L-U-S-H-P-O-W-E-R. Flush power. So, apparently, um, well, it was either us or Luna, but somebody took the dump of a lifetime in here, and we need to get rid of it because that you want you want ants. This is how you get ants and rats and more clown shoes. Anyway, that's that done. So we've gotten rid of the epic diarrhea of a lifetime. Thank you, Luna. Looking at you, girl. And the next one is going to be. Check board stats. So C H E C K B O A R D S T A T S. So check board stats, which, as you can see, I got completely wrong. Check board stat, uh, which, uh, yeah, close enough. This is one of those uh, boars on board. So just in case we get hungry, you know, we can eat a boar, eat animals. Eat animals? Every vegan's just lost their shit at what I just said then. Anyway, check board stats there. <laughs> Sorry, vegans, don't kill me. Love you. And next up, it's going to be run security diagnostics. So, are you N? S E C. Yeah, C, there we go. <laughs> U R I T Y D I A G N O S T. Eventually. <laughs> I T. Uh, S-T-I-C-S. Oh, I lost myself then. But uh, there you go. So always worth pausing it if you just got confused by what I just said. Sorry. And next up, we're going to do the Begin Power Restore. So, B-E-G-I-N-P-O-W-E-R-R-E-S-T-O-R-E. -E -E. And that's the Begin Power Restore. So, press Start and then uh, press the A button when you're there. It took everything in my being not to say STD then, to be honest. It really, I was proud of myself until I just ruined it by actually saying it. But uh, there we go. <laughs> And we're actually finally done with this one, so up on the left stick again, and just press exit, E-X-I-T, 
and then we will be good with this one. And there we go then, so that is achievement number five for restoring the power. Great job, Luna. Hey, you want to make out now? I'm a hero. No? Ah, racist! Anyway, no, I'm going to stop saying that now, sorry. Uh, right, time until the power returns. We are good for now. What we're going to do is just head back up the stairs, grab this cube, and just grab a few more cubes until the tower, uh, power comes back on. Right, so if we head to the left, there's going to be another cube right here. Again, you know, if you want to try and take a look what's going on, there's another cube in Noah's room right here, by the way. So if you want to actually read the dialogue and know what's going on, then, you know, by all means, go nuts. But, uh, well, I am going to bloody clue myself. All we know is we're just needing some electricity from the shops. Could have easily just nipped down to Tesco's, mate. Do you know what I mean? Ech. Ech. Anyway, head down, and this is where we're just going to stand for a minute. So, do a little dance to the uh, lovely music that's going on in the background. Do a bit of Paul Pogba showing off. Hey, baby, my name's Paul Pogba. I'm rich. Still, I'd take Paul Pogba in defence of Harry Maguire right now, in all fairness. Sorry, enough of the football talk. Nobody's here for football. But whoever's a Man United fan like me, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> right, so, we are, we've got the power back, so what we're going to do is head back upstairs. Sadly, we have lost the ability to run somehow. I don't know how that happens in games. And apparently Noah's forgotten. Come on, get that crisp white shirt all sweaty man heading to the right and going through into this door we're going to grab yet another cuban housing and grab the next cuban housing from the computer there we go download smash through all the dialogue as we always have been doing and just keep going to the left so then into noah's room we're going to grab a cube from here then we're going to go downstairs so like I said, this is the, um, I mean, this is just like every AAA game that you've ever bought. And they've gone, especially Valhalla, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla with the collectibles, uh, gross. But yeah, just, um, oh wow, you've done the game well. Here's another 600 collectibles to get. Up yours, buddy. That's basically what they're trying to say to us. Anyway, we're heading down into the starting room. There's going to be another cube in the bottom right hand corner by the desk. Very sleek looking modern desks and everything in here. Um, what we're actually going to be coming up to now is our first mini game. Like a, f a, a first proper mini game where you actually have to do things rather than just type things. So there was two cubes we've just grabbed in there. And again, this is basically, this game could have easily been called Follow the Cube. And it would have basically just been the exact same thing. But heading to the left and now we interact with this cube. Now we have to do this mini game. Now, there are seven levels, and basically it just plays like Snake. So I highly recommend using the D-pad, as it's a lot easier. Um, but again, it's a lot easier than Snake. So if anyone doesn't know what Snake is, for those who were born 20 years ago, Snake was on a phone called the Nokia 3310. It was one of the best phones of all time, and you can't tell me otherwise. Sorry, Nokia 3310 was phenomenal. So this is just basically what it is then, a piece of white string if you don't know what snake is it's a piece of white string and what we have to do is get from one end basically to the other right here while avoiding all the uh, dangerous chips in the middle so this one does start off very very slow um so don't worry it does speed up um it does potentially get a little bit trickier but you know nothing you know it, it, nothing too angrily frustrating where you've got to throw your control at the wall so so there are seven levels. If you end up dying for whatever reason, you just start on the same level. So, you know, yeah, you be fine. Except for the kids who have never played Snake. I feel sorry for you already. You youngins don't know what, <laughs> you youngins don't know how good you got it. As I sound like a complete old bastard.
So that is that one done. Hopefully you had a great time playing sort of easier snake than I just did. Nah, it was nice and easy. Uh, so, but we can actually head to the left now. We're obviously going to be grabbing a few cubes, as it were. Um, and again, this point is literally just going up and down and up and down and up and down the stairs and left and right and up your mum and everything. Just to grab a bunch of cubes before we go, go into yet another minigame. So, yeah. Honestly, this one is so... Because it's... You know, because Noah is... Uh, you know, he's a smooth... He looks like a smooth dude as well. It looks like he can get me into bed as well. And I don't even swing that way. But Noah, goddamn man. You smooth... BS, dude. Anyway. I didn't just say that. Uh, we just... Yeah, it's... Like I said, because he's slow-paced. Because he's quite chill. It's just an easy sort of walk around. So, just follow the... You know, just follow exactly where I go. And uh, we're eventually going to come up to another minigame anyway. So I hope you had fun going up and down and up and down and left and right and up your mum and all that jazz. I really hope you enjoyed it because we are finally done with doing this bit. And in fact, we are only a couple of minutes from the game. We've literally just got one big mini game left to do. Um, run on a computer and then we are done. So we're heading up. We're going into Noah's room and interacting with this cube, which will get us into the next mini game. And then all we've got to do is... Um, put the black squares into the green squares. Five levels, but you've got to make sure that you do not put the black squares um, outside of the area because uh, basically means you die and you've just got to reset that same level. So, again, nothing really to explain. Just if it's easier for you, um, wait, wait and see sort of which ways I go. Do a couple of moves, pause the video, do the same. Whatever way is easier for you. Uh, but that's all we're doing is putting black into green. And life will be handy. But it's not always... It won't always be as simple as you think it'll be. Because you'll you'll end up, like I did quite a few times, you'll end up messing up, screwing up like I did a couple of times because I thought it was the easiest way. Uh, no, no, no. So just follow exactly along with what I do here. And you should be golden nuggets, baby.
So there we go then, hopefully that wasn't too shabby for you right there, but again, every minigame takes about 5 or 6 minutes or something, but anyway, we've hacked the board, now we can go straight up into Luna's room, which we haven't seen. Hey, what's that on the wall? <laughs> um, so we've got the cube, a couple of cubes there, grab the next one from the chair. There we go, that'll be achievement number 9, so we've only got, we've literally got a minute left and there's... Nothing left to do, so we're going to head out and go left, grab this cube to open up. And then all we've got to do now is interact with this computer right here. There we go. And literally all you've got to do is just keep spamming the A button every now and then for literally about another minute. And then Noah Pogba will be done. And with this being said then, let us begin. Let's begin by finishing this, this game. And I'm going to be honest, the, the probably the best point of this game was the music. It's definitely an atmospheric one. Uh, it does make it a bit more tense, but all we got to do is head back into our room as we finish here. And Luna's going to be like, I'm going to shoot you in the dick, boy. And we're going to be like, no. And then we're going to be like, uh, I'm dead now. You shot my dick, Luna. God damn. I offered it to you and everything. But apparently that is, um, yeah, so that's the end of the game then. I I'll leave it up to you what, what you thought of that. We got the bad end, which is a shame, but such is life. So, thanks so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Um, hopefully you did enjoy the game. At least hopefully you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend if it did. And don't forget to check me out on all my socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as well. Big shout out still to everyone. I, it still blows my mind that everyone who supports me on Patreon. You guys and gals are absolutely fantastic and I love you. And, well, that's that one then. So, uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.